a nice sunny day here in London Paddington and I know I've been hearing about the comments that you know everyone was wondering where I was basically I was on this big London project and the videos will be going out but basically I heard that there was a new EIT train leaving out of Paddington this morning so I am going up to Oxford and I'll be uh, recording Thank the entire you. journey experience so hope yeah. you enjoy this vlog the new statue of Brunel who built the station in the 18th century and this is a commemoration for him and what they've done they've got a QR code which is very clever and it gives you the information you need about Brunel quite interesting and these are the two new intercity express trains uh, they haven't announced the platform but I should be on one of these two trains now I do have to say I'm incredibly sorry to the people who had to hear about me going on about these trains for like absolutely ages but now I'm finally able to do it so I'm quite excited and yeah it is the new um, EIT train and it's really fresh this one I think it was made a few weeks ago or oh, this is one of the newest ones and this one came out of Cardiff this morning and this is the one which will take me to Reading it looks really nice actually from the inside it's like nice and jazzy my coach number let's get on the train Hitachi brand new so this is how it looks like inside the train there's this nice indoor pass through and as you can see it's got it's wooden plated so it makes it look nice so this is inside the train let's find myself a seat let's get down here so for people who've boarded the train and think this is a shower room you are wrong because this is actually a bike storage and basically you have to reserve this and you can then store your bike it's this whole new system which is quite cool we are, we're leaving London Paddington and there's the new um, Crossroad trains which will be in operation from uh, January next year and currently they're only operating as far as Shenfield but uh, they're going to extend the route soon. But here we, here's the busy interchange out of Paddington. And here we go. There's the Heathrow Express. We'll be calling at Reading, Didcot Parkway, Swindon, Bristol Parkway. What are you walk on again? Addiff Central. Reading. So we're just passing Ivor here in the West London. So here's the um, new, um, I think that's the Electrostar trains, that's Didcot Parkway, and that left 15 minutes before us, so we've already overtaken it, and we've just left London, we're now near Slough and Windsor, so should pass Slough Station very quickly. So here's Slough Station, and we're passing it like mad. People travelling on GWR every day, uh, if you don't know, it's a blind. And yeah, this is not first class, this is standard class. And if you go into first class, you'll get twice as good. But here we have a blind, and yeah, this is just economy. And you, plus you get free tea and coffee, lovely. We have Amanda, uh, she's currently going to Newport. And um, what do you think about the new uh, Great Western intercity trains? I think it's uh, very fast, that's obvious. And um, very sleek design, lots of features that you can access. <laughs> Thank you for them. noticing that. <laughs> um, it's great to use the power plug so that I can do a little bit of work on the train. And um, yeah, I think the... the How's travel changed uh, before... Um, now these have come in you can go to south wales in two hours mm -hmm. but before with the older ones it used to take four or five hours so what yeah. do you think about that so yeah. think how's it changed travel yes it's, it's um radicalized the, the travel industry really because um you gain two hours of your life back <laughs> if you times that by twice a day times seven days a week well, you know almost you two that. or three days <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you can read a whole book in that mm -hmm. time um so yeah i i guess from a personal it's great. Just entering Berkshire over here, there's another lake and we're now coming towards Reading Station. We've just passed Twyford and here we are slowing down. Welcome to Reading. Can you believe it? We're already at Reading. It's, it's like unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm blown away. Mm, look, we'll be calling it Reading. Already there. There's Reading Town Centre. We are now approaching Reading. Reading. 
Oh god, what's happened to my camera? No! And Oxford. So here we Please are. Change here. So, here we are. Oxford. And if you haven't recognised and noticed, there's a little people. power plug to charge your phone. But here we are, Reading Station. Long awaited trip. But thank you, nice people. Wonderful. Nice people on the train. Thank you for the thank you for the interview. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We are at Reading and now I'm just gonna get off of the train. So here we are, welcome to Reading. I bet someone who's watching my pop-up signs on Find My Friend, they're probably like, Where how am I popping up all over the place? But here we are, Reading Station, new Reading Station. It's completely been rebuilt for Crossrail and ever since the Intercity came out. And there's the small train that I was uh, on the other day to Gatwick Airport, but Let's say bye to Amanda. So the train's now about to leave here, Reading, and look, there's um, Pantograph. It's electric, electric energy on the GWR mainline. So there it goes, Ditka Parkway, next station. That's the lovely little train. Another one pulling in. But that's the main train depot just out there, Reading. These are the new escalators. There it is, it's leaving Reading. Here we have it, leaving Reading. Bye bye. Spending a few minutes here admiring the new Reading station. And if you see, this is completely uh, newly built for um, the Crossrail project coming in soon. And that's the original main Reading station. It used to only be of four platforms. Now it's got roughly three times the amount, 12. But that's 8A, so that's just how big this train station is. This is the main Reading station uh, concourse. And now I am going down to get my next train to Worcester. And I'm going to get off at Oxford. Yeah, so how has the new intercity trains changed travel uh, from Reading to the country, the rest of the country? There's uh, lots of seats available mm -hmm. for passengers and uh, that makes the difference between which is a 10 car train, which yeah. is longer than the usual one. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, we are, we're now leaving the train and here's the door. And here we are, back in Reading an hour later. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog and please do like and subscribe. Old Reading Station, ancient Reading Station, new Crossrail Reading Station. Which one's better? Please tell me. It goes. And there's one of the new Crossrail trains. They're doing a quick operation this morning to see how it goes. But yeah, bye bye, lovely GWR old train. And that is peak hours, but still uh, the good.